Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel VKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about Autosar software component, port and interfaces. If you want to understand complete Autosar, you can follow my playlist and you can watch my playlist. What is software component? Basically, a software component is a piece of code which carries out an application. Basically, we used to call software components or atomic software components. And software component can carry out an application. Application can be anything. Or you want to control a door and you want to read the engine speed or you want to deal with mileage or it can be anything. You can write a piece of code that can be called as a software component in Autosar world. And Autosar software components are reusable building blocks of Autosar software. Meaning you can reuse your software component in multiple ECUs. You no need to redevelop again and again. And to make the communication between Autosar software component, the main major role will be played by ports. Via ports, we can make a communication. It can be a P port or R port or in some cases it can be a PR port as well and by considering a communication we will have a interfaces that will be called as a sender receiver interface or client server interface or ports and interfaces everything we can discuss more deeper in this video what is inside in the software component because we are discussing about software components is a piece of code and which carries an application but what is there inside the software component basically the software component has ports ports has interfaces meaning ports associated with interfaces and software component has internal behavior internal behavior means how the software component is going to behave internally so for that it will be associated with events exclusive area into runnable variable per instance memory port api option runnable entities supports multiple instantiation in our future videos we can discuss more deeper about each and every topic you can see the picture here here I have taken an example of application software component type and it has ports, internal behavior, data type mapping reference, exclusive areas, it can have a multiple exclusive area, AR typed per instance memory and you can have a events, port AP option and internable variable runnable and you can have a support multiple instantiation as well and when you are going to create a software component these all are the talks are not mandatory meaning internal behavior and ports this is mandatory and that's also based on the software component type which you have chosen for your application or requirement for an example here exclusive areas if you want to have then only you can do the configuration this is not mandatory but the same for AR type per instance memory as well and port AP API option also everything is based on your application and requirement now we can discuss about ports basically Autosar has three kind of ports P port R port PR port ports is a major and playing a ma major role to make a communication between software components and the complete communication will happen via RTE which you already knows it so P port it's a provider port it will provide the data to the R port via specific interface R port it's a receiver port receive the data via specific interface PR port it can act as a provider and receiver port it can take the role of both the required and provided port prototype so these three ports is available in Autosar, but majorly P port and R port will be used. And one more thing is based on, for an example, if you are using a sender receiver interface, then this will be called as a sender port. And if you are using a sender receiver interface in R port, majorly the receiver side will be decided. So it's called as a R receiver port. That means R port. If the same communication in a client server interface, then in if the, if the R port is associated with the client server interface, then it's called as a client at the same time the p port will be called as a server that is the difference between sender receiver and client server basically in a way of ports but when you are going to make a communication there is other differences also available now we can see about how we can configure or design a p port for an example here i have selected the p port and i named as pp underscore sender because here i have used the sender receiver interface so the short name you can keep anything but here since it's a p port i have selected as a pp underscore sender so here i have a sender receiver interface same way for r port rr underscore receiver and based on your requirement if you want to have a required com specs and if you want a receiver that means um, like about the communication way you can select it and here also i have selected the sender receiver interface so we can deeply 
more discuss about when we are going to discuss about the sender receiver interface and PR port here I have selected as a mode switch interface again the same way like I have selected as a PR underscore mode switch but it can do dual role like required and provided port kind of activity will be done by PR port but P and R port will be used mostly now we are going to discuss about port interface so when an application consists of multiple software components it may be necessary for the software components to communicate either to exchange data or to trigger some function some software components from different applications may also need to communicate for an example the climate control system will need to communicate with an engine management system to set the engine idle speed sufficiently high that the engine does not stall when, when the air conditioning compressor is switched on. You can consider this example. And communication between autos or application software components is designed in terms of ports and interfaces. So we have some list of interface, sender receiver interface. This is mainly used in a signal passing, client server interface. It will be for a function invocation, NV data interface that will be used in the NV NV data software component meaning uh, NV software component and parameter interface it's relevant with the calibration mode switch interface want to exchange the modes for uh, like entry exit transition in this cases we can use the mode switch interface and trigger interface these all are the interfaces will be available in AutoSAR based on your application you can select which interface you want but one thing you can keep in your mind interface will be associated with ports for an example, if you want to make a sender receiver communication, then you have to choose the sender receiver interface. The major difference between sender receiver interface and client server interface is if you want to share like a variable for unsignature 8 or unsignature 16 or unsignature 32, then we can choose a sender receiver interface because this will do the RT write and read. Client server interface mainly for a function invocation. If you want to transfer more number of bytes, for an example, 50 bytes of data, 100 bytes of data, or 1000 bytes of data, that would that, that, that case we can choose the client server interface so this is a basic information about ports and port interface thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more autosar technical content please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day